frames and symbols frame a frame is a single picture in the sequence of pictures all the pictures or frames are animated slightly from the previous one the running sequence of frames gives an illusion of movement it is known as animation or movie types of frames key frame a key frame marks a point on the timeline where the content of a frame changes in a layer key frames are the frames that are key to an animation blank key frame when you wish to add a new object on the stage or remove an object from the stage you insert a key frame with no content this is called blank key frame a blank key frame is used to give a visual break during an animation key frames are represented by a solid black dot on the timeline if the dot is hollow it indicates a blank key frame fact bit frame rate of a movie is the speed at which animation is played it is measured in number of frames per second by default the set rate is 24 fps to insert a frame follow the given steps step 1 in the timeline click on the rectangular placeholder where you wish to insert frame or keyframe step 2 Click on insert timeline frame or keyframe timeline timeline is the area where the sequencing and timings of graphics and other elements of a movie for creating the animation is done it determines the order in which your frames and layers appear and how long each frame will stay on the stage the major components of the timeline are The playhead tells you which frame is currently displayed on the stage. It is the red rectangle and a red vertical line. Frames of each layer appear in a row to the right of the layer name as a series of rectangles. The frame numbers are written at the top of the timeline. Every fifth frame has gray fill. Current frame gives you information about the current frame number. Frame rate is the number of frames per second that is fps. It is shown at the bottom of the timeline. Elapsed time is displayed to the right of the frame rate. It shows the time passed to reach the current frame. It is displayed in seconds. Symbols and instances. A symbol is an object that can be graphic, button, or movie clip that you create once in the animate CC. It is stored in the library. It can be modified and reused again in the same movie or another movie. When you place a symbol on the stage, Animate CC actually places a copy of the symbol. This is called an instance. You can use as many instances of a symbol in your movie as you need. You can change the instance color and size without impacting the symbol's properties. If you make changes to the symbol, then all the instances get updated, but any change made to the instance does not reflect in the symbol. There are mainly three types of symbols behavior available. Graphic. This symbol is used for static images that are used to create animation. It can be a drawn image or plain text or an imported image. Movie clip. It can be compared to a mini movie that is animated according to its own timeline within the main movie. Button. Buttons add interactivity to the movie and respond to mouse clicks. key press and other actions creating symbols to create a symbol follow the steps given step 1 draw a basketball on the stage by using the oval tool and brush tool from the tools panel step 2 choose the selection tool and drag the mouse pointer on the stage to enclose the ball within a rectangular selection marquee Select modify convert to symbol or drag the selection to the library panel Convert to symbol dialog box will appear Type the name of the symbol in the name box and select the behavior from the type drop down list Step 5 click okay the symbol is added to the library Once you have created a symbol, you can edit it in symbol edit mode by choosing edit, 
edit symbols or you can edit it in the context of the stage by choosing edit, edit in place. Creating instances. After you have created a symbol, you can place number of instances of the symbol on the stage. You can give names to instances, specify color effects, assign actions or change the behavior of the instances from the properties inspector. To create an instance of a symbol, follow the given steps. Step 1. Select a layer in the timeline. Step 2. Click the symbol name or the symbol image in the library and drag it on the stage. Step 3. Release the mouse at the location on the stage where you want to place the instance. Step 4. To make any changes to the name, size, color effects or actions of a particular instance, select the instance and open the property inspector on the right side. The changes that you make affects only the instance and not the symbol. Types of animations Animation is the illusion of movement created when a series of still images are displayed in rapid succession. It is like a motion picture which is made up of a series of static pictures. Animate supports the following types of animation. Frame by frame animation and tweened animation. Frame by frame animation. Frame by frame animation changes the contents of the stage in every frame. It is best suited to complex animation in which an image changes in every frame instead of simply moving across the stage. Frame by frame animation has a larger file size than tweened animation. To create a frame by frame animation, follow the steps given. Step 1. Draw a ball. Step 2. Choose Fill Color and Stroke Color from Property Inspector window. Step 3. Select the keyframe dot in the timeline. The animation will begin from this particular frame. Step 4. Select Insert, Timeline, Keyframe. Step 5. Using Selection tool, make a slight change in its position. Change its color using Fill Color option. Step 6. Repeat the above steps 5 to 6 times to insert new frames. Step 7. To preview the animation, click Control Test Movie in Animate. Tweened Animation Tween comes from the word in between. Through tweening, you can go from one keyframe to another keyframe and specify changes in the animation. It is used when you need to change the shape or position of the object at a fixed interval of time. The two types of tweened animation are Motion tweening It is a type of animation where you specify the beginning and the end position of the object. It is required to convert the object into a symbol before applying motion tween. Create motion tween To create motion tween, follow the given steps. Step 1 Select frame 1 and draw and color an object, let's say a car. Step 2. Select the object and right click on it. Step 3. Choose convert to symbol to create a symbol or press F8. Step 4. Select any other frame on the timeline and click on insert frame. Step 5. Hold shift key and select all frames in between first and last frame. Right click and choose Create Motion Tween. A blue colored span of the selected frames appears on the timeline and the layer gets converted to tween layer. Step 6. Drag the object that is the car on the stage to the desired position. A motion path appears on the stage with dots indicating the position of the object for each frame. Step 7. Press Ctrl and Enter or select Ctrl Test Movie in animate to play the movie and view the motion tween. Shape tweening. It is a type of animation which is used to transform the shape of an object into another. It does not work if the object is converted into a symbol or is grouped. Create shape tween. To create shape tween, follow the given steps. Step 1. Select the stroke color and fill color. Draw a circle at the first keyframe. Step 2. On the same layer, right-click on frame 15 and choose Insert Blank Keyframe from the context menu. Step 3. In frame 15, 
Draw a triangle using polystar tool. Step 4. On the same layer, right click on frame 30 and choose insert blank keyframe from the context menu. Step 5. In frame 30, draw a rectangle using the rectangle tool. Step 6. Select any frame between frame 1 and 15. Click on insert and then click on create shape tween. A green shaded area with a solid arrow will appear between these two keyframes. Step 7. Repeat the same for frame 15 to frame 30. Step 8. Press Ctrl and Enter or select Ctrl Test Movie in Animate to play the movie and view the shape tween.